the other uh, men of the match among them of course is uh, Kapil Sibal senior uh, Congress leader and uh, the person who was pushing their case through in the Supreme Court thank you Mr Sibal for speaking with us yeah. uh, here on Bloomberg Quint yeah. What is the big takeaway about the role the Apex Court has had in this entire case? I think uh, the, the real role of the Apex Court uh, is uh, to ensure that uh, the BJP is not given time to poach. Uh, everybody knows that, uh, that the JDS Congress Alliance has 116. Uh, that was according to the list published by the Election Commission. And everybody knew that the BJP had 104. Uh, so they had to break away people. And the, the governor gave them 15 days to do that. So a prime minister who said, who always says, na main khaunga, na khane dunga, should have also said, na main na khareedunga, na khareedne dunga. But governor allowed 15 days for them to poach. And the Supreme Court decided will not allow that. And the other, the other counsel for the, for the for the governor and counsel for the MLA said, at least give us seven days. Supreme Court said nothing to it. Then when they said Saturday, he said, please give us till Monday. Supreme Court said nothing to it. That's the biggest draw and that's the biggest lesson from the role of the, uh, as far as the role of the Supreme Court is concerned, that they didn't allow them to poach. Uh, a lot of people today, Mr. Sibala, are also saying that what does the Congress now say on its move to try and impeach the Chief Justice of India? Uh, a few months ago, uh, your party was expressing doubts about the functioning of the Supreme Court as it is today. Uh, but today it is the Supreme Court which seems to have come to your rescue. So I don't understand the import of the question. I really don't understand the import of the question. This has nothing to do with the impeachment motion. This is something to do with the fact that the Supreme Court gave us space to put our point across, and the Supreme Court realized that this was gross injustice, uh, and it would be perpetuating an illegality if we allowed 15 days for them to poach people. That's nothing to do with the question that you asked me. Sir, the only connection there really is that it is the same Supreme Court's Chief Justice of India uh, that uh, your party moved to impeach. So what has that got to do with this issue? So do you think that that faith is now restored? What, is for faith, what faith is restored? Faith is, is restored in an institution when an institution functions in a manner consistent with the Constitution. Okay. That, that's how faith, that is, that is how, uh, look at the, the faith in the institution of the governor. Look at how governors have been conducting themselves over the years, at least after 2014 in particular. Right. So when institutions conduct themselves consistent with, uh, with, the, with the rule of law, people have faith in them. If, if they are perceived not to be functioning in accordance with the rule of law, people have no faith in them. That applies to every institution. It applies to politicians, it applies to parliament, it applies to the executive, it applies to the Supreme Court, and it applies to all other institutions. That's the takeaway. Yeah. Mr. Sibal, this is Sanjay. Uh, BJP is very angry with uh, you and your party and JDS. Their complaint is that you kept your MLAs in captivity, did not allow uh, the access uh, mobile phones. So did not allow and this is highly poach. undemocratic. Uh, this is, they didn't allow them to poach. So therefore, we were trying to prevent an illegality, which is highly undemocratic. Is that the argument? And if that's the argument, it's an argument to be rejected the moment it's stated. Um, I just want to ask a larger question about what lessons the Congress Party takes away from this fight and this um, victory at this point for 2019. Is one of the lessons also about uh, tying up pre-poll alliances and bringing regional parties on board? Well, it all depends. Uh, there are many states in which the Congress Party uh, is one-to-one -one against the BJP. Uh, there are other states in which the Congress Party doesn't have enough of a presence. Uh, at this point in time. Uh, so I think it, from state to state it will depend on, on the presence of the Congress Party and who we wish to ally with. But I think that the message is quite clear that we will be allying with, our, with, 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 with political parties, with like-minded parties, ideologically like-minded parties, uh, in order to oppose, uh, oppose uh, uh, the, the BJP.
All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Sibyl, for speaking with us. Uh, Kapil Sibyl there uh, talking on the entire legal process which was going on uh, behind this uh, political fight and really had a huge role to play because the fact that the Supreme Court reduced that 15 days uh, to just 24 hours perhaps made all the difference to the outcome that we're seeing.